Hello, today we are preparing a creme brulee tart together. So the creme brulee tart will have a delicious homemade almond shortbread crust. Very crisp and very sandy. On this lovely shortbread tart crust, we will prepare a homemade creme brulee and also flambe the tart. The crunch of the shortbread tart, the fondant of the creme brulee, and the crunch of the caramelized sugar. So let's go with the homemade almond shortbread crust preparation. So, so we start with flour. We have one cup and a half, means 230 grams. And then we take the almonds, the powdered almonds. 50 grams means half cup. Then we have the icing sugar. 80 grams means half cup. And then salt. One teaspoon means six grams. So now we have the butter. We will put some pieces, so step by step we will mix the ingredients. So all is dry, this is normal. And then I'm adding slowly butter, step by step, pieces by pieces. This is the dough, this is too sandy, if it's too dry. And if you have the feeling that the dog is, is, is not wet enough or too dry, then you, you can add more butter. You can make a nice, nice ball. So if you, are, if you haven't this uh, consistency, then just add a little butter and mix until you get this consistency. Perfect! And then we will put uh, the dog in the fridge for one hour. So this is a shortbread tart crust, so we will not add any flour because we want to keep a sandy texture, texture which is crisp, crispy. Therefore we will not use any flour and use uh, this paper, this oven paper. So then we will check if the dimension is, is good. So normally it's okay. You, you pull, you pull in this direction slowly, very slowly. And then you have to check if if, if you are not destroying the dog. So. Therefore, it's important to have um, to put the, the dog in the fridge to reduce to reduce possible damage. Okay. And then we remove the paper caref carefully. Slowly.
ओके Now it looks very bad, so it's a disaster, disaster. So we will now make correction. So as explained, we haven't used any flour, so it's easy, very easy to, to make correction around, you know. complicated and also so we will create a new edge and the, the edge will be also thicker bigger because we, we want um, creme brulee tart with a nice edge a nice crust a nice shortbread crust therefore this this um, technique I think it's, it's very easy. You will never make something wrong. Okay, so now we save the shortbread crust. It's saved, it's, it's okay. It's, I think it's perfect. perfect for me. And you see the edge is, is big, so I want to have a big edge. It is my decision, but I think it will give a nice uh, balance. So now we will cook blind this crust and before baking the tart we will make perforation in order for the humidity to go out. Now I will bake the shortbread crust for 25 minutes at 170 degrees Celsius or 340 degrees Fahrenheit. 25 minutes. So 25 minutes later the tart crust is cooked, is baked and then we will prepare a coating. So a coating means we made a lot of perforation so it's important that the, the crust is, is waterproof. Otherwise we will make a creme brulee and maybe, maybe we, can, we could get some leak. You Therefore move. we will pre prepare a coating. Take one tablespoon milk. Then one yolk, egg yolk, and you whisk gently. So 
So this coating doesn't have any, any taste. So it's just a security. And as you can see, the shortbread uh, crust, the shortbread tart crust is, is not thin. So I, I decided to, to make a, a crust, shortbread crust, which is um, a little big because I, I want to, to have a good balance between the, the, the crust, the tart crust and the creme brulee. So you can paint the edge. Now we put the shortbread in the oven for five minutes, same temperature. And before preparing the creme brulee, I will grate the edges. Perfect! So for the creme brulee you need uh, five yolks, so five yellow. Then half cup white sugar means 90 grams. Then you whisk. So here we have the five yolk, the five eggs, five yellow. Then here the heavy cream, this is warm. Then I'm um, adding uh, vanilla. One tablespoon. Then you just have to add slowly the warm the warm heavy cream and whisk. So now I'm placing my crust on a plate and I will uh, fill with, with cream and eggs.
So now the oven is uh, on 100 degree uh, Celsius, means 212 degree Fahrenheit. So we will cook this uh, creme brulee, not in bain-marie, it's not possible, but in the oven during one hour, 60 minutes. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. So now I'm placing the brown sugar. And now we will slowly make the crust of the, the caramel. Perfect! Perfect. 